Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Liverpool and to our Redemptress Monastery here at Bishop Eaton for another message this Thursday afternoon. I decided just to check uh, the number of people who viewed last week's message, and uh, I was delighted to see that still there had been 155 views of the message. So it obviously is worthwhile recording these messages week by week. But having said that, and having done this faithfully since March uh, over two years ago in 2020, when we uh, had to deal with the pandemic and, uh, and of course recorded all those masses as well, I think we'll, we'll have the month of August off, if that's okay with you, that uh, I'll have a bit of a break and recharge the batteries as we go into the autumn. I've been tipping you off that that's what I'm planning to do. And we seem to have come through these last few weeks, thanks be to God, um, managing to get everything done, all those first communions. It was a wonderful opportunity to share with the children and their families, and we ask God to continue to bless them. And we've also had quite a number of funerals, as many of you know recently, um, and we'll continue to pray for those who have died and for their loved ones. And likewise, uh, we've a couple of recent deaths, so I'd be asking you to remember in your prayers Antoinette Loftus, who died just uh, a few days ago from St. Mary's Parish, um, and then closely associated with our parish, um, Jean Hussey, the wife of Christopher, who died very recently. Uh, Jean wasn't actually herself a Catholic, but... Uh, was a lovely person and uh, uh, very sad that she's died so soon after her husband and yet in some ways perhaps we can also thank God that uh, hopefully now they're together uh, and rejoicing in the peace and joy that the Lord has promised us. So those two funerals will be coming up fairly soon and again we ask the Lord to comfort uh, families and friends at this difficult time. In the meantime, we've uh, something to look forward to. Next Monday is the feast of our, fo our founder, St. Alphonsus. And of course, we have his statue here uh, in the oratory. Um, and it's also going to be a special day in which we can say thank you to Chris Reeds. Chris, who's served this parish and the community here uh, in so many ways, both in her voluntary capacity, but of course, uh, for so many years as administrator, and then in a support role. Um, and of course, she's still doing quite a bit of work for us as well. But anyway, Chris has officially retired now. Um, it, uh, the Feast of St. Alphonsus coincides with her birthday and uh, her wedding anniversary. So it seems the fitting opportunity to um, celebrate uh, her time. We're going to have, obviously, a community mass at 12 o'clock on Monday here at Bishop Eaton. Um, Chris will be here and uh, there'll be a little reception uh, for her in the hall afterwards so that we can say thank you to her for all those years of hard work. Um, uh, on, for the rest, well, as we go into August, as I say, I hope that uh, some people I know have already uh, had a good holiday, including Hayley, who's back from her holiday with the family. Um, but obviously the schools are on holiday still and many people will be coming and going during this coming month. And I've sort of earmarked it now for time when perhaps I can switch off a little bit and I'll be going away for the last part of the month. My sister actually, as I, as I mentioned, I think is reaching the age of 80 uh, in the month of August, so looking forward to celebrating her 80th birthday with her. And uh, I hope that w between us we can, we can have some time of uh, re rest and relaxation and then have a good look at the whole situation in, in uh, September when the schools come back and when we look at how we can uh, recharge uh, the batteries and uh, see how best we can continue to rebuild our communities in both St. Mary's and here at Bishop Eaton. Um, I'm sure it will be a graced and blessed time and in the meantime let's pray that the Lord will watch over and protect us during this time and that he will bless our homes and families as always. So let's beg the prayers of Our Lady, of St. Alphonsus, of all our Redemptorist and patron saints, that united with them the Lord will continue to strengthen us with the gifts of his Holy Spirit and fill us with the peace which only he can give. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good break. <laughs>